going to introduce you to our first speaker. Uh, we have co-founder Dan Desjardins from Distributive sharing his vision of a future where everyone has access to supercomputers. Also, a huge fun fact about Dan is that he was almost a former astronaut, but got called and pulled from the running because he used to sleepwalk. So put your hands together for our first speaker of the day, Dan. Hi, Collision. My name's Dan, and I'm here to talk about some cool distributed computing next-gen technologies that we're building over in Distributive. We're with a team of 42 people in Kingston. We've been building this system for the last five years, 300,000 hours, $6 million, and uh, we're here to disrupt cloud. This API on the TV behind me allows you to take any job, hyperparameter optimization, or in my case, computational physics, which is what I like to research in my spare time, and blow it over 10,000 computers, fridges, phones, servers, uh, anything that's in your building or nearby buildings. We're giving this away for free to academic institutions worldwide. We're already in over a dozen. We're commercializing with hospitals, and we're going to start with banks. We run pretty much anything. So if you're, pick your poison, Python, C, Julia, whatever you need, whatever you're working on, we can run it on computers all around you for 20 times cheaper than cloud. We can group arbitrary devices, arbitrary operating systems, arbitrary hardware chips, arbitrary locations into username, password protected groups that you can select and run workloads on. We can run in the browser. In fact, the demo I wanted to do this morning with you would have been to run computational physics on all of your phones, no download, no install, one click in a browser. Why? Because DCP, the Distributive Compute Protocol, is completely built on the web stack, bringing the same security and performance as online banking. The same promises that Google um, has baked into its own technology stack, we've inherited because we built on top of it, which means we can run anywhere, fast and secure and cheap. The workers can be organized into different groups. You can call them whatever you want. So we can have the library at a university, and we can have the cafeteria in a hospital. And they can each be contributing compute power to any processing task you can write up. This is my favorite. These four lines of code, if we put this into the web page of the New York Times, every device on the planet reading on that page would become worker nodes in a compute cluster doing arbitrary data processing, computational research, advanced research computing, and what have you. Bank accounts. We measure how much compute power people are providing to the network and how much they're consuming from the network, allowing us to do something like this, which is an open economy where people pay and get paid for contributing code, data, and compute. So this is taking the AWS pipeline model and turning it into a sharing economy where everyone gets to get a piece of the value. This is uh, at a university in Kingston where we walked in, no administrative privileges, no download, no install, and we were able to commandeer about 2,000 CPU hours worth of compute in under two minutes to do a job that would normally cost 75 bucks on Microsoft Azure. We did it for four bucks. Instead of two days on your laptop, we did it in under 20 minutes. And so I made this very quick with 18 seconds remaining. Thank you very much for your attention. Come check us out at dcp.dev if you have any questions. Very happy to help you with your compute workloads. Thank you.